have actually come to this beach called the Zlatni Rat beach or also known as the Golden Horn beach and this beach is the most popular beach in entire Croatia I guess uh, because of its unique shape and we'll show you the shape of this beach and why it's unique and why this beach is so popular so come on. reaching Supitar, we drove for around 50 minutes and now we have reached the other side of the island towards the town of Bol but we have re but we have actually come to this beach called the Zlatni Rat beach or also known as the Golden Horn beach and this beach is the most popular beach in entire Croatia I guess uh, because of its unique shape and we'll show you the shape of this beach and why it's unique and why this beach is so popular so come along so they have a parking spot here and we had to pay a parking fee of 100 kuna which is valid for the entire day and the funny thing is that uh, the fee that we paid for the ferry ride the one hour ferry ride from split to brak was just 32 kuna per person and 130 kuna for the car for bringing the car along with us but the parking here is 100 kuna uh, and also the we bought a we got a bottle of water which was for 20 kuna so it's all prices little, are all lopsided <laughs> yeah right it's now. a little difficult to understand uh, but we are walking towards the beach and jaise hi thoda bhi shade hota hai to it becomes cold and then when the sun is uh, uh, hitting you and your face then it becomes super hot Oh 
Still you can hear me scream Cause still I am a liar And I will haunt you in your dreams So we are now walking on the beach And it's actually a pebbly beach It's not a sandy beach and in fact most of the beaches in Croatia are pebbly beaches and even inside the water you won't find sand there will mostly be small pebbles so a lot of people who like really want to go and enjoy swimming in the deep waters they bring in the water shoes uh, so that it doesn't hurt your uh, feet but uh, right now the beach is very quiet there are very few people just a handful of people which is a good thing in summer this beach is jam packed with tourists it's one of the most popular uh, uh, beach destinations in croatia but right now it's today is what 5th of october the first week of october and there are just like a handful of people which is a great thing it's not very crowded and uh, it's very peaceful it's a little difficult to walk because it's pebbly and not sandy beach but uh, just make sure you're wearing proper footwear and uh, even if you want to go inside the water uh, if you want to go deep into the water it's advisable to bring water shoes so that you don't hurt your feet uh, because most of the beaches in Croatia are pebbly beach oh it's a long hard fall from the top of the world but it's finally over finally over treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night So we are at the beautiful Zlatni Rat Beach or Zlatni Rat Beach Again, not sure of the pronunciation but it's also called as the Golden Horn Beach and I just took a drone shot of this beach and it's looking absolutely spectacular. The beauty lives in me beautiful just standing here i can see three different shades of blue in the water i don't know if you can see i think you can definitely see two shades at least and uh, the reason this beach is so famous is because of the unique shape of its tip the tip of this beach constantly changes shape with the change in the current and the time of the day so at different times of the day this beach uh, presents itself in a slightly different uh, shape uh, to the people over here. It's gonna take some time, but I know
It's also called the Golden Horn Beach because the tip resembles the shape of a horn and uh, it, it looks really beautiful from up top. I'll show you the drone shot. It looks very beautiful because you can see the tip and then you can see the different shades of the water surrounding the tip of the beach and the entire beach. And obviously you have the mountains on the other side. We drove down that mountain. There's a path on that mountain. We drove down there from Supertar and uh, we reached here at the Zlatni Rat beach. So if you are spending uh, more days in Split, then I definitely recommend you to come here for a day trip to the island of Prague. It's a beautiful and very peaceful uh, beach in Prague. The wind is playing with your hair I'm watching it paint in circles in the air You're smiling at me like only you could do like a perfect dream And that dream is you The sun is lighting up your face We stayed up all night and listened to the rain Like music kept on playing like a drum With you in my arms I'm the lucky one And I wanna spend the day Making love a thousand this beach is perfect for just chilling and uh, enjoying the scenery around you and because it's not the peak tourist season, the beach is obviously not very crowded so you'll get the peacefulness here as well. We had booked online tickets on the Jatro Unija website. You can also purchase the ticket from their office which is exactly at the point from where you board the ferry. And like I had mentioned, it's 32 kuna per person one way. And if you're getting your car, it's 130, I think 130 kuna. And uh, you have to be there an hour before your, uh, an hour before the departure time. But then it's just so that the cars queue up. And then I think just 15 or 20 minutes before uh, the departure time, the cars are loaded into the ship and then the ship departs at 9 a.m. Have a future here with me Though I've done my best I've tried to prove them wrong They ain't listening I know that she's the one And I wanna spend the day Make love a thousand ways and more To show We are now going towards our car parking and uh, we might go to this point called Ridova Gora which is not just the highest point of this island but also the highest point in entire Adriatic. So we might make a quick stop over there. I saw the city passing by my window in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light oh, but then So we are at this point called Vidoba Gora which is at the island of Prague uh, We were there at the Golden Beach just, uh, just an hour back We can see the Golden Beach from here This is supposed to be, not supposed to be, this is the highest point of the entire Adriatic uh, Sea across the islands in the Adriatic Sea and we are at 778 meters above sea level uh, just a few minutes ago we were at zero meter above sea level and uh, in feet it, it's about 2500 so you can already feel the chill in the air although you could feel it down there too but uh, here it's slightly more chillier and the view from here is exquisite you can see the island right in front it's a different island and there is a different seems to be a different mountain range then there is an island there you can see the islands around and of course uh, being at the highest point in the adriatic you expect to 
get such uh, such views of the next You saw right through me that day. I was lost in space, but you pulled me down and wiped away those clouds. So just half an hour ago, we were at the Golden Horn Beach. That's the Zlatni Rad Beach, and you can see the uh, cruise and the small boats docked over there. And uh, from up top here as well. you can see the golden horn shape of its tip so that's the zlatni ran rat beach and right now we are at vidova gola the highest point of adriatic and also the brac island So after spending a good day in Brak, we have now come to Supitar Port, from where the ferries depart for Split, and uh, we are waiting in queue along with the other cars uh, for uh, to board the ferry. And I think uh, it sh we should be boarding in like ten fifteen minutes, and the way back it will take us another fifty uh, minutes. But all in all, a good day, and definitely when you're coming to Split. Plan on spending one day in Brak. It's very easy, very convenient. Just uh, take the ferry and uh, yeah, just <laughs> just take the ferry and uh, come here. But make sure you're coming with a car, or you'll have to maybe rent out a scooter over here because it's a very big island and uh, you can't go from one point to the other. In there is no public transportation. At least I did not see any public transportation here. So you need some mode of transport to travel from one point to the other. So make sure you have a car, or you'll have to rent one here, either a car or a scooter. <laughs> तुमसे बयान तेरा जंग से रानी मिली थी कहाँ कहानियों के डगर में तुम्हें लेके जाऊँ अगर तुम कब